possible. Laura! V! Roger! <laughs> what? Uh, what? You damned! What? Yeah! No. The demonic flute. Let's check and mate. Oh, that was a tough one. What's our plan, Comrade G? <sighs> Vile. Comrade G, I am fully prepared to lay down my life for our cause. It is not death, I fear, but this operation is too important to leave even a corpse behind. I'm afraid I must do what needs to be done, even if that means harming a member of the Imperial family. <laughs> I think it's about time we came out to play. Oh my, aren't you a quick little kitty? <laughs> Just my type. <laughs> That's the selfie I know. <sighs> Comrade S? Comrade V? Oh, you came for us. Oh, what a relief. Now we can... These must be... We're terrorists! I seem to recall specifically telling you to leave this operation to me. But I can't say I'm unhappy you decided to check in. Sorry, boss. But if you got yourself caught here, we would have been off to a pretty bad start. <laughs> I do apologize for cutting in, but we figured it was for the best. Comrade C decided to join us, too. And so I have. <laughs> a mask. <laughs> Comrade C, I wasn't expecting to see you here. Did my planning for this operation seem that flawed to you? On the contrary, it was almost perfect. But no plan is completely foolproof. One must always factor in unpredictable elements. As the ladies and gentlemen of Class 7 here, I've demonstrated so brilliantly. How does he know who we are? Who are you? We have already fulfilled our primary objective. Courting dishonor by harming a member of the Imperial family will gain us nothing now. Do you not agree? No, you're right. Release them. Machius, I'm leaving the two of them to you. Okay. Got it. There. A gesture of goodwill. In the hopes that we may yet resolve this without bloodshed. What say you, ladies and gentlemen of Class 7? Will you stand aside and let us leave peacefully? Like hell we will. You abducted the Imperial Princess and an innocent girl. Drugged them. What Erebonian would stand idly by in the face of such an outrage? It's five against six. This won't be easy. Uh, guys... <laughs> you got guts, kids. I'll give you that. <laughs> well, I certainly wouldn't mind a little rough housing. No, it's only right that I be the one to test their mettle. Wielders of the long sword, the great sword, the twin gun swords, stand and face me. I shall be your opponent. <gasps> what? <laughs> Think of this as an entertaining way to kill some time. The railway military police are already. Until then, pour out the vessel of your wrath upon me. Interesting. He's awful sure of himself. Is 
he serious? There's no way he can win against all three of them. What is that? Another relic from the Dark Ages. A double saber. I am seeing. There is all you need to know. Now, come at me if you think you're able. Then allow us to be here. Okay. Flames, gamble on my plate. our sea for you. Ooh, can't deny he's got the brains and the brawn to lead. <sighs> what power? He might even be as strong as Sarah. Just, who are you people? <laughs> From today, you shall know us as the Imperial Liberation Front. In our hearts, the flames of silent anger. In our hands, the hammer of judgment that shall topple the Dictator. That is our cause, our purpose. The Imperial Liberation Front? W what Dictator? Freeze, all of you! Instructor! Captain Claire! Just in time! <sighs> it appears the time has come to make our exit. Huh? Is that... Farewell. I'm sure we'll meet again. What? A, a bomb? See you around. Ta-ta for now, my little darlings. Let's see you claw your way out of this grave. The passage is collapsing! Hurry! Wait! Ah, I couldn't leave Juan up alone. Green, you carry her highness. Got it. That was pretty touch and go back there, but I'm glad to see you all pulled through. Well, thanks to you, Instructor. I had my doubts we were going to make it out of that alive. We could have come a bit sooner. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, there's no way we'll be able to follow them now. Indeed. So, the Imperial Liberation Front, is it? Your Highness! Elise! Oh, thank goodness. 
Whatever drug they were given doesn't seem to have had any lasting effects. I feel like I've caused you all a lot of trouble, but thank you for rescuing me. I'm just glad that you're safe and unharmed. Uh, what happened? Are you alright, Your Highness? How are you feeling? Marine? Uh, I'm fine. You should worry more about your sister. Looks like the Intelligence Division was right on the mark. We have a number of the routes back to the surface locked down. Think we can smoke them out? Personally, I doubt it. This tunnel system is incredibly expansive, with too many areas we know nothing about. Continue the search for a while longer, then focus on restoring order in the city. Yes, ma'am. I'll send a report to the other divisions and let them know the situation's been resolved. So, Imperial Liberation Front, what's your game? In the end, the Railway Military Police brought the chaos under control, and the first day of the festival came to a close. Despite his injuries, Governor Regnitz kept on top of things, ensuring that the rest of the festival passed by peacefully. The next morning, it was time for us to leave the capital behind and make our way back to Trista. I really don't know how to begin thanking you. You've done so much for our family that I doubt we'll ever be able to repay you. Not at all, Your Highness. There's nothing to repay us for. We just did what we had to. Oh, come now. There's no need to be so modest. It scares me to think what might have happened if Elise and I had been taken away by those people. So I can't thank you all enough. Please allow me to extend my thanks for your help as well. I'm truly grateful. Elise. Oh, I'm just glad you're safe. Group B's efforts were a great help to Cedric and I as well. Thank you again for your assistance in restoring order to the city. I'm honored, Your Highness. <laughs> I'm so glad to have been of service. <laughs> just think of it as returning the favor for your help pushing to make Class 7 a reality. Still, now we've got the Imperial Liberation Front to worry about. Regrettably. There have been signs they were up to no good behind the scenes before now. That incident in Nord, for example. But now they've finally stepped out of the shadows and announced themselves to the world. They appear to be insurgents in the truest sense of the word, led by several key figures. C being the most prominent. The intelligence division is doing its utmost to gather information about these leaders even as we speak. They struck me as rather... mysterious in some ways. Even though they abducted us, they rarely showed the kind of maliciousness one would expect from terrorists. It seemed more like they were in the grip of some kind of intense passion. True. Not that it excuses abducting your highness like they did. An intense passion, you say? It did seem that way. In our hearts, the flames of silent anger. In our hands, the hammer of judgment that shall topple the dictator. That's what their leader said when they made their appearance. Indeed. <laughs> All the ham-handed theatrics of a middle school play. Yeah... You can tell how gleeful he must have been to say the flames of silent anger in front of an audience. Well, it's no mystery what they're referring to, at least. Oh, thank goodness. I didn't miss you. Wait, isn't that... Is he? Dad's with him, too. Glad you made it, Cedric! <laughs> just in time, too. Your Highness? Did you come all this way just to bid us farewell? Of course. After all you've done for us, I thought it was the least I could do. Ah, uh, is this the rest of Class 7?
It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Cedric Ricey Arner. I wanted to thank you for coming to my sister's aid in her time of need. Allow me to extend to you my most heartfelt appreciation. You're too generous, Your Highness. Th the honor was ours. Thank you, Your Highness. This is the Crown Prince. He's pretty cute. Fee? <laughs> I certainly wouldn't mind if he took a few lessons in manliness from the gentleman of Class 7, though. Uh, Alfin, come on. I think that's a little harsh, Your Highness. <laughs> well, you're still just 15. You have plenty of growing ahead of you. Still, it isn't often I see you keeping the Imperial Governor company. <laughs> I suppose that's true. I just happened to be here on business, so I thought I'd take the chance to say goodbye to everyone. How are you feeling? Are your injuries all right now? Yes, nothing too serious, fortunately. I'm still feeling it, but it shouldn't be too much longer before I'm back to my old self. That's good to hear. I'm glad to see you looking all hale and hearty, Your Excellency. Thank you. While no one could have foreseen how it ended, you did manage to complete this month's field study. On behalf of the Board of Directors, I'd like to congratulate you for your exemplary work. We're honored you'd say so. Thank you, Your Excellency. We three directors may have very different positions on many issues, including how Class 7 should be run. But for my part, I'd like you to enjoy student life however you choose. I think the other directors would agree with me on at least that much. Dad. I'm glad to hear you feel that way, Your Excellency. In that regard, you have nothing to worry about, Your Highness. <laughs> well, if you say so. I've always found you a trustworthy man, of course. But... Ah, I see that everyone's here. <sighs> Chancellor Osborne! As a matter of fact, the Chancellor and I just came from an audience with His Majesty the Emperor. I'm overjoyed to see you safe and well, Princess Alpha. Clearly, the Goddess has bestowed her blessings. Thank you, Chancellor. I'd also like to reassure Prince Oliver that we're starting a nationwide hunt for members of the Imperial Liberation Front. An investigation into the backgrounds of its members is also underway, so you needn't worry. My, my. Nothing gets past you, does it? Well, I suppose that means you have the security detail for next month's trade conference well in hand? Of course. I'll see to it that everything is taken care of. Ah, but where are my manners? Please excuse me for not introducing myself. I'm Giliath Osborne, representative of the Erebonian government. Though I imagine those of you who read the papers may know me better as the Blood and Iron Chancellor. <gasps> uh, it's an honor to meet you, Your Excellency. Uh, um... Your reputation precedes you, Your Excellency. <laughs> I've heard much about the recent exploits of Thor's Class 7. Traveling across the Empire for first-hand learning with your field studies is quite a fascinating program. I hope you'll keep up the good work. We shall endeavor to. Thanks. I hope we'll live up to your expectations. Ah, yes. It's been quite some time, young racer. I'm glad to see your new career path is working out for you. Thank you, Chancellor. I wouldn't be where I am today if not for you. I really owe you for all you've done for me. <laughs> General Van Dyke was my superior back when I was in the army. As such, I'm planning on granting you a bit of additional assistance. I should have it ready for you in a few weeks' time. What are you... <sighs> I have great expectation for you all. Nurture the bonds you share, and train up bodies and wills of steel. For I have no doubt you'll need them in the turbulent times to come. Oh.
Ooh, you're moving up in the world. <laughs> I've got a little reward here for you. Drinks are on me someday. <laughs> Good showing, everyone. <laughs>